windows and these windows creep out. They have a crank in them and when you turn them the windows go like this. And it's really awesome. Uh, this window slides either way so this one can go this way and then that one can go that way. It's pretty awesome. Um, these little long skinny windows up top, they're picture windows so they don't open. Um, we got this Tennessee from the Rustic Reclaimers who also did our shelves, which we'll show you in a second. And then this one, how does this one open? Is it crank too? Same way. Crank? Yeah, it cranks too. But that one we can't use because you'll see our beds in the way. So we got these little steps from Camper World. They just like pop out and that's what we got right now. Um, inside. Guys, go, go, go. So when you come inside, here All right, so when you come inside, here's our kitchen. Here's our stove I was talking about. It's a gas stove, it's connected to propane. It's pretty big, it's not an RV stove, but it's not full size, so it's like in the middle. And then we have our countertop that Spencer made. It is wood and it's whitewashed. Um, I'm thinking eventually we're gonna do something else with it. I want to do like linseed oil maybe. Um, and then we have all these, all these cabinets which are custom made by Spencer who made our tiny home. I'll tag Spencer in this. Um, and all these cabinets go the depth of the countertop. So this one comes out and it goes all the way back here. It's super neat for a tiny home. And then like these, the whole depth of the countertop. Even these little baby ones, whole depth of the countertop. And then we have our combo two-in-one washer dryer. It's LG, really nice. We got it running right now just to wash it. So we were trying to wash a towel earlier and apparently it was uneven. We're trying to learn how to use it. Um, this, these are what the Rustic Reclaimers made for us. These shelves are custom made for our tiny home. Um, he did exactly what I wanted. He's got this industrial pipe under here. Um, this is where we're gonna try to use as a pantry. There's that, and I'll back up from it. There's Alex in it, say hi Alex. Hi. So, there's that. And then, alright, I didn't say anything about our refrigerator. So, our refrigerator is, um, it's not completely full size. I'd say it's, what, like, apartment size, Alex? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, like, apartment size, but it's pretty big for a tiny home. There's that. There's that. That's our freezer. So the freezer's on the bottom. And then here is our sink. Our sink is pretty huge. Um, we're used to having like the divided sink. So this one is a lot bigger than we're used to. Um, here's what I was talking about. The uh, windows. I guess you could tell more if you were on the outside. But if you spin it, it goes out like that. And the other one does the same way. So, for right now, we have this couch from Ikea. Let's see if I can get over here so you can see it all. So, we have this couch from Ikea. Um, this would be more or less our guest bedroom because this right here is more or less a trundle. Um, you can pull it out. You can pull it out and it'll come up and it's like full-size bed. So, it's really nice. And then... We also got this from Ikea. We had it before we even considered a tiny house and we just tried our best to keep it. We're probably gonna keep it. Right now it's full of junk because we're trying to move in. We really don't have mo much of anything in here. Um, eventually what we may do is try to get a special mount, if you can see it, between these two windows that we can put our TV on and then it can just slide down in front of the window when we wanna watch it. And then when we don't, we'll put it back above the window. But for right now, when we do get our TV in here, it's gonna go on our on our entertainment center. Um, 
right beside the door, I kind of skipped over that, we have this little setup. So this was what Becky made me when I was like 16. I think I put something about it on Facebook. Um, it was just an 8x10 picture frame. She put like this cool paper in it and painted it. And I put some different paper and painted it like a month or two ago. And then I added these little clips so it could, it could be like a two for one. So I have my keys hanging from it. And then we have our little to do thing up there. And then right here, Alex is walking the dog, so you can't see it, but um, this is where we put our dog's leashes. But these are actually railroad ties I got off of Etsy that are bent into the shape of like coat racks. They're super, super strong. They're like, these things aren't going anywhere. Um, this right here, we don't have the cat in here yet, but this is a cat litter box box. So it's got a little pet door on it. And I taught the cat how to go in there. And um, we can open it up from the top as well. There's like bags in there right now. But um, we can open it up from the top and we can clean out the cat litter box. And we can also put the cat's food in there. And it kind of does a two for one for us. It kind of helps the smell not be all over the tiny house. As well as keep the dogs out of it because we have two dogs. So that helps a whole lot. And then right here by the door, we have um, our shoe storage. So like his is on top and mine's on the bottom. We had to downsize our shoes, but I mean, that's that's what our shoes fit in right now. Um, also right by the door, we have this for the mini split, which is how we heat and air the tiny home. It's right there. So it's saying it's 73 in the tiny home right now. If I wanted to adjust it, I would put it on here. I'm going to make it go 72. I can do that. It's really awesome. And then here's our bathroom. So it was this color, which is like a gray. Um, but I decided I wanted to do blue. I wanted to have this cool beach theme going on, which is the only room that's painted. It's probably the only room I'm going to paint. Um, and it's really hard to show you the whole room at the same time because it's kind of small. But uh, the Rustic Reclaimers also gave us this really awesome corner shelf for all the work they did for us. They threw the corner shelf in. Let's see if I can show you the top of it. It's really nice. All the stuff that the uh, Rugged Reclaimers um, made for us is all out of reclaimed wood. A lot of it's like pallet wood. Especially, I'm pretty sure this is pallet wood. But it's really nice like this. You can see like it's been used before because it's got all these... Um, staples and nails and stuff in them um and then we got this this is for our towels we got this from uh south carolina when we went and got the tiny home so i thought it'd be really cool to like tie in all the blue which it's just really hard to like capture what the bathroom looks like right here we have cubbies that spencer built in and um they you can't really tell but they go all the way to the ceiling and they are super deep like my whole arm is in there and I still can't reach to the back it goes the depth of the wall super awesome um more than likely it's going to store more stuff than just like our bathroom stuff um I do want to throw in that we Spencer gave us like a normal shower head and we threw in this like waterfall type of shower head that has a detachable um I don't know what this is called Is a detachable arm, I guess. But we thought that'd be great for washing the dog since we don't have a bathtub anymore to walk in shower. Got get out of the bathtub. Get out of the bathtub. Go. Go. Alright. And then here's the steps. And when you go up to the steps, it's kind of hard to show it because the door is open right now. But underneath them we got the dog food bowl. So we'll just slide the dog food bowl out to keep the dogs. And it's really, I think it's meant for like bookshelves, but it's got a lot of storage. So these go the depth all the way back to the next step. So as you can imagine, here's my foot. It's pretty deep. And then we got that one, which is super tall. It's more for books, which we're probably going to end up putting like Harry Potter in there or something. Um, last but not least, this is our bedroom. 
Um, so for our bedroom, we actually already had this before we decided we wanted to go tiny. And um, we already had the bed frame, but we had to get rid of our dresser so we didn't really know what to do. And what we did was we um, got rid of our um, box springs and got this bunky board, which you can kind of see under there. You can look up what a bunky board is. But um, we got this bunky board, which eliminated the need for a box spring. And then we got, um, we made these. I mean, they're not super fancy, but they're made out of like a cedar post and the pieces of wood we already had. And they ra raised the uh, bed up like seven inches, which is what we needed at the time. And uh, because it raised it up seven inches, we were able to put these under here. So these are um, the wooden crates you get from Walmart. Um, one of them kind of slid back there. But wooden crates that you get from Walmart, we stained them with like a mahogany or something. It's like a dark reddish color. And then we put these casters on them. So they just slide wherever we want them to. And then, uh, the only thing we haven't quite figured out about this bed yet is that, um, the middle support is kind of sagging. You can't really tell. It's more like if you're sitting on the bed. If you're sitting on the bed, this right here is kind of bowing. So we actually just took basically all the books we had to keep that support up. But for our dresser, I have two of these crates, and Alex has two of these crates. Alright, and then for our closet we have what's called a corner closet i found i did a lot of searching on amazon and i found this i think it's like 40 something inches it is actually the normal size of what we had in our old apartment so we measured it and uh, gave ourselves that amount of room and it was actually one side of our closet in our old apartment so basically we both had to get rid of half of our stuff but the other half is in storage right now so we put everything in this corner. It's actually really space saving because as you can't really tell. But it's in the corner. And then we actually have a walkway. So if we had had it along this wall, it would be taking up most of the walkway. If we had it along that wall, we probably wouldn't have as much room to actually store it close. So it's, I think the corner, corner closet was the best solution. Um... Last thing I wanted to throw in was uh, this is something else that the Rugged Reclaimers made for us. Um, this is for Alex's Dyson fan, which is sitting on the floor right now because we can't figure out where to put it. But uh, it's super awesome. He said he said he made it out of uh, reclaimed wood and what is it? Linseed oil, old linseed oil, and then I think he put a polyurethane over it. But it's awesome. I love the uh, reclaimed wood because. You can see all the like nail holes and stuff in it. You can just tell it's been loved before, or at least used. But then he put plywood on the back and uh, made all the wood stand together. So it will probably end up going here, even though I don't want it to. And it'll sit on the wall like that. And we got this little pipe that'll go like this. If I can show you, like that against the wall. Yep, that's that's everything. So I'm gonna go around closet, bed, art dressers basically. One of them fell back behind there. Oh um oh forgot about this. So the rugged reclaimers also made us this uh, really awesome baby gate for the dogs. Reclaim wood again. They make everything out of reclaimed wood. And uh, these I think are all the normal colors of the wood. But he stained this to make it look different. So this is the back side. And when we're not using it, we just attach it to the bathroom door. It's kind of hard to tell, show you because it's this is really tiny. And then you close it. Oops. Close it. And it looks like this. And we can either keep the dogs out of the bedroom or in the bedroom if we want them to. But 
we can separate them from one place of the house to the other. But we love it. And I love how they figured it out to where it can just attach over here. Yeah, when we don't want it, it goes there. When we're using it, it latches right there. And that's not even in the way. It's great. Alright. I think that's everything. Okay, so... Oh, and our bathroom has a pocket door. I swear. I'm going to end eventually. The bathroom has a pocket door, so it's not like you just walk in there and there's no privacy. Alright. And maybe eventually we'll have to update this. Hi, guys. You being good? Alright, I think that's it. Bye. Bye.